Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you are operating on a Windows server and it's not accepting a new product key. It might say the product key looks similar to this and that this key didn't work. Please check it again and try again or try a different key. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this without too much of a hassle and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to go select the gear icon on the left side where you hover over it. It should say settings. So go ahead and left click on that. Select the system tile. And now you want to go down and select the bout on the left side. So scroll down to the bottom, select the bout. And now underneath Windows specifications, it should list what edition of Windows you're running here. So that's going to be important because there's going to be two different versions of the server you might be coming into across here. There'll be a standard edition as well as a data center edition. So I'm going to have two different commands in the description of the video you guys are going to have to go ahead and have to take note of. So anyway, once you're done identifying that version, you want to go open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go select yes. So I'm going to have uh, several commands in the description of the video. Regardless of what version of the server you're running, you want to go type in slm gr and then a space forward slash ipk and then we do another space and then I'm going to paste in a product key here so I'm going to blur this part out but I'm just going to paste it in on the top bar of the command prompt here right click on it select edit and then I'm going to paste it in this will be blurred out though you get a little pop up just select ok not big of a deal and now once that is inserted you want to go type in slmgr space forward slash ATO so again SLMGR space and then a forward slash ATO hit enter on your keyboard and now at this point you're gonna go type in a different command depending on what version okay so we're gonna go select OK again and now please take note that at this point now it's gonna depend on what server edition you're running so if you're running a standard edition there's gonna be a section in the description they want you guys to copy that it's gonna be a DISM command and it's also going to be a data center addition to another DISM command. You can read in the command itself that one says server standard and the other one says server data center. So it should be pretty easy to understand at that point. So you would just go ahead and insert that basically into the command prompt. But I would suggest opening up into like a notepad file. Replace all the X's in the product key with the actual numbers that you have. And then paste it into the command prompt window. So just right click and then edit and then paste it in and then once you're done with that it should be activated and if you also have to run the slmgr and then forward slash ipk command and the slmgr space forward slash ato command once again you might need to again you shouldn't have to at that point but uh, that should pretty much be it once you're done um, selecting the next command again it'll be a dism command depending on what version you're running you would just type in your product key into the applicable location in the command that I'm going to have in the description of the video. And that should pretty much be it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.